with the paperwork. Oh, man. Sorry about that, kids. Had to finish off dealing with the Cockney Ninja problem. Oh, man. Oh, I swear. It's gotten crazy out here, man. But, on the other hand, at least it's done and over with. Oh, hey, it's just been a maniacal last couple days, man. First, they take out my freaking what you call it. They keep my cable lines. Oh, then. All right. Sorry, getting tired. There we go. This is better. Okay. Yeah, first they take out my cable lines. Then they got the nerve to stand there and not answer who they're working for when I know who they are. Come on. It's, it's kind of obvious, ain't it? <laughs> Well, now that things are starting to finally get out. Oh, but I look at it this way. You know, we don't torture here at the Freedom Institute for Advanced, Conser you know, Advanced Science Fiction Studies. But we exactly can't let these things pass. But don't worry. I We just finished aiding in their departure. Now, what do you mean by departure? Well, we could say nasty things, you know. Let's just say that. We've taught them a new way of existing and that they'll aid the crops very well for the local farmers this year. Okay, but let's get, let's get on to the news, shall we? All right, remember, Omega Files this weekend is going to be, of course, the thing. And what happened was last night, I was literally five minutes into recording a new video, just short of it, about four minutes, 54 seconds, and there goes Zoom, there goes my internet. And the internet did not get us reestablished till like sometime early this morning. And I was really ticked because I got a ton of good stuff to show you, okay? But let's go ahead and get to it because it's going to be a long video now because, oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot of stuff to show you, all right? Okay, so first off, let's start at the beginning here. Do, 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 do. Okay, now, all right. And away we go. First off, all right, more pics of the Doctor Who Series 9 monster. And if you guys have been watching around, you'll see this big behemoth right here that's been rot running around, right? Well, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hang on. Let's, let's go ahead and let's bring this up right here. Maybe it's just me. And like I said, I don't think it's the Jadoon, but I kind of like the way, you know, the, the armor styling is very similar. You know, and the helmet, especially in the helmet area here, I like the helmet shape. But like I said, I don't think it's the Jadoon. I don't think we're going to see the Jadoon back anytime soon, at least not on the moon. But that's just, you know, something I was checking out, okay? So, you know, it's a very interesting armor design. Let's go back to the article now. See, haha, <laughs> look at all this jumping I'm doing. Okay, so this is the new armor. This was sighted out on the set over at uh, Penarth and the uh, Comest Down Medieval Village. Or, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and according to them, now for you folks who are paying attention, they're going to be filming out there allegedly till sometime like two or three weeks from now. Okay, they're going to be out there for a while. So whatever's going on, it's taking them quite a bit of time to film. All right, but here it is. Boom, boom, boom. And if you want, you can you know get this picture right here over on Blogger. Um, he does do really good high res pics. And if you really really pay attention, I love the detail these guys are doing on this particular suit. Looks like it's been battered. Plus, if you zoom in really close, looks like it's had some chunks taken out of it here and here. Looks like maybe it's been in a little bit of action. Okay, let's get on to the good stuff, the really good stuff. Over here on Twitter, Harry Cole brought us, guess what? Oh, looky here. First picture of Maisie Williams on set over at Doctor Who. Uh, we do not know this is pro if this is her civilian attire or this is going to be all, sorry, civilian attire. <laughs> Can you tell in the last 24 hours really screwed me up? But we don't know if this is a costume or not. Probably not. Um, but then he also gave us this nifty picture right here, which you go snagged us. With, uh, thanks to Mr. Harry Cole. Uh, girly letters. All you folks over on Zoom who are, you know, or sorry, over on Twitter. Ah, uh, see, I'm, I'm just so screwed up, man, because of what happened. So over here on Twitter, go check these out. Really nifty stuff, you know. Plus the fact, notice we got Jenna Coleman right uh, back in the spacesuit, which is very interesting. And then we got uh, Capaldi wearing the check trousers. You know, once again, thank you, Harry Cole, for the pictures. All right, let's move on. All right, over on BBC One, um, if you go check this out, sorry, BBC, well, it's the BBC main site. Now I have a link to it so you can get there. Um, they have a short little video here. It's only like a, not even 30 seconds long. Um, where you know Derek Ritchie is giving you a brief update on what's going on shooting wise, it's it's worth a little watch if you're really into this kind of stuff. Um, plus, it's a beautiful location, and you may notice the one entrance. <coughs> ah, 
that was pictured before out on Twitter is showing up here. So this is definitely, I believe this is Lanaran. But all right, jumping on over here to Radio Time, Stephen Moffat, you can't have a Doctor Who movie that damages the TV series. Oh, Nelly. Okay, so Moffat's spoken about the importance of maintaining the integrity of a BBC One sci-fi show if a potential film were to be explored. Quote, you can't make a movie that damages the TV series. That's the only thing I'd say about it. I'm very happy for there to be a movie, very happy for there to be a theater, you know, theater show, anything you like, but the TV show is incredibly important. It must not be hurt. Everybody knows that, end quote. Now, I asked whether or not like, you'd like to see a film eventually at Moffat reply, quote, if someone can work out how a movie actually works, I've got nothing against it. No, no one's ever been very clear about how it actually works. It's not really got that far, and it's not my job. I can neither action it nor stop it. Oh, I love how he's saying this now. I remember back when David Yates wanted to do a movie, and he was throwing the scream at Mimi, saying he wasn't going to let it happen. Well, that whole story's changed now, hasn't it? But okay. I'm sure there's money to be made out of it, but that's not the point, is it? We, all, we are British, the BBC, we're there for the art. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you hand in your paycheck and put it on the show's budget? Let's see what that happens. All right, but okay, that, but that's the moth, and I can agree with him on that. You can't, it, that's the problem. If you do a movie, are you going to do like the Peter Cushing deal where you just go totally outside the show's continuity, or are you going to be trying dumb enough to fit it in? And the thing is, if you try to fit it in anyway, for one, debating continuity on Doctor Who is just plain freaking dumb. I've had this argument before. It's like, come on, in just one series of Pertwee, we had like two or three different explanations for what happened to Atlantis between Azal, the frickin' uh, de demon, and for, you know between what happened in the Time Monster. And it's like, oh, man. Whew. Okay, also on Radio Times today, Stephen Moffat, Peter Capaldi does, doesn't want to come back as being the same Doctor in Series 9. Um, let's run down here. Quote, all right, the showrunner said, there's a temptation if you go into a second series with a doctor, you think last series, that's major. You've got a new guy, what he's going to wear, what he's going to be like. Is, is he good in those scenes? Is that close up working for him? Everything is new and you solve all that. And there could be a danger that you go, ah, it'll be easy now because you've got an established doctor. You've got to make it difficult again. You've got to do something different. What you've always wanted to do with Doctor Who is not relaxed. It's not to think that we've cracked it now, end quote. And he goes, we're continuing to develop the doctor. Um... Sorry, his doctor, which is a thing he's been very keen on. Capaldi just doesn't want to come back being the same doctor. He wants it to move on. And he goes, the 45 and out rhythm, sorry, the 45 and out rhythm has served us incredibly well for 10 years, but there is a slight sense sometimes about 35 minutes into the episode, you expect the hero music. They're not all two parters. Sometimes they're just linked episodes. It's just making, you know, making, so it's making you slightly unsure you'll get through the story by the time the music comes up. We've all got to be on our toes. You cannot be relaxed. So at least he's staying on the ball. And it's looking like we've got like three two-parters starting right off the frickin' bat. You know, between one, two, three, and four, and five, and six. Okay, so, all right, Moffat, all right, wait a minute, hold the phone. Oh, sorry about that, folks. I accidentally duplicated an article. It happens right now. Okay, just for craps and giggles, it's only two minutes long. Go watch this clip. Doctor and Sherlock crossover on the newsways. It is funny as hell. I'm not kidding. Okay, just for craps, got over on Cold Box. Eight top music moments are in Doctor Who. And then lastly, well, that's it for today. Because I, I, I trimmed off a few articles, folks. Like I said, I deeply apologize. What happened was last night, all right, to tell you the truth, we had a cable outage. <laughs> which is funny because we just happened to have a cable outage the other day. I don't see it as a coincidence. But it's been dealt with, with extreme prejudice. So until later, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Catch you later.